Wow, come everyone. Today we have exciting Diablo 4 News Digest. And looking behind me, this is a Chinese foreign post of the latest grandfather drop that is available in Diablo 4. So I do believe this is the world first grandfather drop. And looking over here, what we'll do is let's have a look how this item was dropped. This is quite interesting. And then we're going to go through the stats of this item. Now over here, I was able to find the original poster that found this item. So what he was saying is he was actually farming the Helltide and by opening the Helltide chest, he was able to get the grandfather. And this is actually especially interesting, guys. So if you guys remember, we were talking about farming the Nightmare Dungeons after level, level you know, after level 85 or tier 32 plus to farm for those items. And there are some dungeons that increase the drop rate. What we forgot was that there is also increased drop rate for the certain two-handed weapon from the Helltide chest. So looking over here, the player, the Chinese player did not mention which of the chests he opened, but it is very likely it's either the 175 chest or the 150 chest. And this adds another layer towards farming for the unique items. So if you guys want, and if you have the time while farming for Helltide, you should be opening the 75 chest for the helmet and also the 150 chest for the two-handed weapon. And this is on top of the chest you can farm for 175 chest. Now this weapon looks pretty good, right? And oh boy, the stat is pretty amazing over here as well. So now let's briefly talk about the stats for this item. So this is the upgraded level 5 item with over 3,288 maximum damage. So 2,740 attack per second or damage per second. So this item has rolled 69% damage increase, 3,500 increased life, 72 maximum all stats. Ignoring durability loss and also increase your critical damage by 84%. So what that means is if I had this item, my critical chance, which is currently about 480, this will be increased by 80%. So I can easily get 800 critical damage because of this. I keep saying critical chance. And this item is tremendously good for the barbarians, for the necromancer and for any class that can use the two-handed weapon. Now, what is interesting is if we have a look at the previous patch notes from the Diablo developers, you can see there has been increase of experience reward from the Helltide chest, but they didn't say anything that's included in the Helltide. So maybe previously it wasn't available in Helltide, but now since the developers update and also the latest changes and also the reveal of the six ultra rare items, now you can be farming for Helltide chest for a specific unique item. I'm not saying this is all the time guys, but if you're doing the Helltide, you should be going for the 150 chests and maybe the 75 chests for the helmet as well. So go for the two-handed weapon, go for the helmet, then go for the 175 chest. Now on the topic of Helltide guys, I am currently using the Helltide.com to find my Helltide chest. And if you guys are interested, I have this one available in the links. This is not official website, but this is a very helpful website that shows you the locations. Unfortunately, during the recording of this video, the Helltide is not available. Once it's available, every hour, it will show you the location of the biggest chest for the 175 chest. But we still do have to look for the 150 chest for the two-handed items. And this could be a very good way of getting the grandfather. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so, because I'll be covering tons of Diablo 4 related topics and also videos and also guides. We'll be looking to the top meta builds, non meta builds, leveling up, and also Paragon tricks. We're also looking to the latest events and also official updates and also changes to different characters and also different builds in the game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the notification on because a lot of you who are watching the videos have not subscribed. You can see 80% of the viewers who are watching our videos have not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the latest update for Diablo 4. Now before I finish the video, I have been playing PvP a little bit lately and what I want to do is I want to show you guys a brief clip of me playing PvP and bullying other players. <laughs> yes, it's really fun. I was trying to find the place and the time to show you guys the PvP. You can see that I literally two shot the PvP boss. And as I play the PvP, oh boy, the build is incredibly good. If you haven't tried my build, notice I'm so evil. I actually turned down, <laughs> I turned down my offensive blood mark and pressed the wrong button. I actually exit out of the game into credits. But yes, what I want to show you guys is it's incredibly strong playing the PvP as a hotter barbarian. And with my speed barbarian, we're super durable, super fast, and we kill everything in one to two shots.
Ja, ja, da lui. Ja, da Now, in case you guys didn't know, I'll be live streaming on Twitch again, and I have just started. So make sure to come over to the links below to join us on Twitch live to say hi, maybe ask me questions or share any tips with the viewers. And while you're here, make sure you follow. And if you do have your Twitch Prime, this is a really good time to use your Twitch Prime over here, supporting us with Twitch Prime. <laughs> And yes, guys, join us as I test build for Diablo and also join us as you play the game and also farm the game. So stay a while and also listen. We'll also be doing some giveaways and also special viewer events in the Diablo as well. Maybe we do PvP and also related events in the game as we get to the end game and also help players to go through the dungeons. <laughs>